Good evening YouTube. So I got my Avizar USB hub repowered. So I have a DC to DC step down or buck converter here. I'm feeding in 12 volts DC on the input and then I've got the output set here to just about 5.1 volts. Now I want to see what kind of load I can take here. So I've got my little USB load and we'll plug that in. This is on the one amp setting. And there we go. We're pulling one amp. So the voltage drops just a little bit there. It drops a little more on the hub because you've got the, these are about 24 gauge copper wire in this connector. And then you've got the PCB traces. So it drops down a little bit, 4.8 volts. And then we can flip over to two amps. We're getting about 1.8 amps at 4.5 volts, and you can see the power supply has dropped about a tenth of a volt. But there I've got basically a 2 amp load, and it's running just fine. Yeah, I just took the circuit board, scrubbed it down with some isopropyl alcohol and an old toothbrush, got rid of all that soldering flux residue so nice and clean. Just got to put it back together and see if it works. The hub itself seems to be fine. It's just this uh, power supply. Let me switch over my meter here. Okay so this is the little uh, power supply that comes with the hub and on the bottom it says 1000 milliamps, 5 volts, 1000 milliamps. So what I want to do, I've got my meter on the 10 amp setting amps. I'm going to plug this into my bench supply and let's measure the short circuit current. If that power supply can indeed do 1000 milliamps, it ought to read 1000 here. So let's see what we get. 347. That's a little bit short of 1000. Okay, so maybe doing a dead short circuit test is a bit unfair for this little power supply. I have a little so, connector here. I've got a 10 ohm resistor in there and then a wire coming out. So I'm going to plug this into my bench supply. If it's a 5 volt supply with a 10 ohm resistor, we should be able to do 500 milliamps. And you can see there we get 277 milliamps. Yeah, I don't think this is a 1000 milliamp supply here. I pull the uh, top off of here to show you real quick. It's a pretty bare bones supply. They have a provision for USB connector there. Your mains comes in right here. There's a half wave rectifier goes into a 400 volt electrolytic capacitor. That's your smoothing for the high voltage. There's two transistors, a couple of small caps in there. There's a small transformer, looks like an opto-isolator, probably a feedback winding for these uh, switching transistors. And then on the output, there's your little LED here, and there's, I imagine, a 5 volt Zener diode. That's your regulation, is what I'm guessing. So there's not much there. This is your high voltage side. And they've got a fair fair bit of separation here. And they do have the opto isolator going across that gap. And your transformer is across there. But yeah, that, that puts out 347 milliamps, not 1,000. And 200 milliamps, it was down at 4.5 volts. This just running is pulling between 10 and 20, so maybe about 15 milliamps, just running this uh, supply in the hub. And then when I go in here, say put a, a one amp load on it, the 12 volt current jumps up to about 600 milliamps. And when I go up to two amps on the USB, I get just a little over one amp coming into this uh, boot buck converter. So this guy is pulling about 12 watts in and we're putting out about 9 watts. That's my thinking is if I can pull the 5 or the 12 volts off here, produce the 5 volts to power the hub and then send the rest of the 12 volt over to the controller, then I take all the 
the USB load off of that device and I've got a better uh, better power situation and I also have two more slots so I've got my memory stick serial gateway and then I've got two extra slots if I need them in the future so, so anyway I thought I'd sh show you this thing rigged up I think it's gonna work for me so now I just need to uh, get this stuff stuck on the side of my home automation controller I'll probably what it looks like when I get uh, get all that integrated I will uh, catch you later if you have any questions or comments uh, put that in the comment section below I'll post an update when I get a chance to integrate this in with the controller and check that out I'll have a subscribe link in the lower right corner and I'll post a link to the next video in the upper right corner so you can check that out and as always thanks for watching